What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bebop back with another video. And today, you know what I'm saying? We at the crib. It's June 1st. We going we posted 31 videos every day this month. So today, you know what I'm saying? For June 1st, for the lesson of June 1st, we talking about stop waiting for things to be perfect to start. I say this because you're going to be waiting forever. At that point, you're going to be waiting forever. You want everything to be perfect, everything to be situated before you even get to start. Like, come on now. So, look, my boy Avery B came up with this analogy. He was saying, um, there's two kind of people. One person, they both wanted to do, they both wanted to do YouTube. One person did YouTube. I mean, one person started off with what he had under his circumstances. Uh, iPhone camera, um, editing off of iMovie, um... You know, using the the built-in mic in the iPhone. That's the one dude. And he's dropping videos. He's dropping videos. He ain't wasting no time. Then the second dude, he don't drop no videos. He's doing all the studying, all the studying behind how to get views. He's doing all the studying in how to find the best camera. $10,000 camera, whatever. $5,000 camera. The best lens. The best memory card. Uh... The one that has the most space, the best microphone, but he drops zero videos. Zero videos doing all that research while this dude, while dude number one is working and finding it out at the same time, but he's acting on it. So by the time they, by the time this dude start YouTube, he's starting off with zero subscribers. This dude already got a hundred K. All you see is his videos from bad quality all the way up to good quality. He's still dropping though. He's learning as he go. This one's want to learn first and then start. Waiting for everything to be perfect. Now what does that tell you? That's only going to slow you down. That's not, I'm not saying no, you can't learn. I'm not saying it's not good to look into different equipment. No, you should do that. You should definitely do that. Find every way to upgrade your quality in anything that you do. But you don't want to wait and not act on what you want to do until that happens. No. You want to act on, work with what you got now. Work with what you got now so that when you do start, is um, the improvement, your viewers will see your improvement. And then they're going to be like, oh, snap. It's going to be something different to the eye. They're going to find it very cool, very retrieving. Re like, just start now with everything that you got. Work with what you got. If you have to put everything in front of you in a table, think about what you want to do. So I'm going to just use YouTube as an example. You got an iPhone. Sit the iPhone down. Sit your laptop down. If you got a camera, sit your camera down. It might not be the best camera, but sit it down somewhere. And then after that, just look at what you could do with this. Look at everything that you got on your table and look at what you could work with. And then work with what you got. Find out to make the best content out of what with what you have. And then as you go on and as you build and you start making money, you invest that money into better equipment. And then when you get that better equipment, that's when you can start upgrading your... I mean, when you start getting that money, that's when you can start upgrading your quality. Um, upgrading your sound with a new better mic. Upgrading your equipment. So yeah, stop waiting for the perfect time because... The perfect time is don't exist, bro. There's no perfect time. And nothing in this world is perfect. There's never gonna be a perfect time. If you're gonna wait, if you're gonna, if you're waiting for the perfect time, you're gonna be waiting forever. I ain't gonna lie, you're gonna be waiting forever. I ain't wait for this perfect time. I just started. I just started. Y'all, I started off streaming on um, YouTube from the PlayStation with the mic that works one earbud and then the mic and then that's it. And then as time go on, I start upgrading to streaming, but then I realized I don't want to stream no more. So I started doing YouTube. What I start YouTube with? This right here, an iPhone. It don't even gotta be an iPhone. Anything that you got. If you got an LG, if you got an LG, LTE, whatever, and that's all you got, and you want to do YouTube, just do it, bro. Make that video. Somebody gonna see it. Somebody gonna see it. Trust me, there's 8 billion people in this world and you don't think you could get like 100,000 people to like your content or see that there's something in you that is worth watching. 
come on now you could do it bro so start with what you got um one person that you could look into is wallow wallow 267 on instagram you know what i'm saying i i get a lot from wallow i ain't gonna lie he's from philly i live in philly so it definitely is local you know what i'm saying so look into wallow he was locked up for 20 years 20 years came back from jail with nothing he moved into his grandparents i mean his grandma's house had a little old bed a little old twin size bed what he say um my grandma got me this nice bed i'm gonna play the video for y'all because i really want y'all to see this I live, I, live with, I live with my grandma i live in the middle of the room in my grandma's house come home from jail don't got nothing grandma bought me a nice bed it's you know it's nice no bed he said a nice bed it's not no the bed is not that fancy here you go right here look what's this uh, 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 twin size. He's grateful for whatever he got. A twin size bed. He a grown man, but he grateful. He grateful. You know what I'm saying? He grateful. And that's all you gotta be, really. Grateful for what you got, bro. And work with what you got. Bed. As you can see all my stuff. You see everything. You know. This is why I get, this is why I do all my thinking at. This is why I sleep at, watch my stuff. I usually watch, I don't really watch Wallow TV on TV. That's something y'all really don't know about. I don't really watch speaker right there. I don't really watch the TV that much. I'll be on the computer watching the internet. <laughs> I, you know, I'd rather watch that, but this, this is why I get busy at. This is my stuff. Man, you know, all paperwork. <laughs> clothes, and you can see wild little clothes everywhere. Clothes. And a life of Now, I'm going to let y'all do y'all okay, research. I'm going to let y'all do y'all research on um wallow but that video bro he got out of jail that's all he had iphone bro everybody looked at him crazy when he started making the motivational uh videos running in the snow sitting in the rain running in the rain yelling in the rain um you know everybody was counting him but it is what it is everybody count him everybody called him crazy they ain't calling him crazy no more with all that success that he got they was, bro, it's about the message. Everybody was looking at that. What he was doing in the snow. What he was doing in the rain. Catch up on his head after like he got shot. His movements. How he be running across the feet. I mean, across the camera and stuff. Nah, it's the message he got across. Now look at him. He buy a Lambo every day, it seemed like. Man, do your research, bro. He started off with what he had. Then built onto that. He literally said he went. He went. He traveled because he said he's the type to, um, he need to see it with his own eyes to realize that this life is possible. He traveled, took a flight. He could even afford to sit on the, in the seats on the plane. He had to sit with the luggage, but he still did it just so he could see what he needed to see. $70, bro. All he had was $70 to his name when he did it. Start he, he ain't say, all right, I'm going to wait till I get a $1,000 and do all. Nah, he, he, he acted on it, yo. And that's what you need to do because look where he at now, bro. Do y'all research on a while, though. So, yeah, use what you got and work your way up, bro. The longer you wait, the harder it is, bro. The longer you wait, there's somebody like me that ain't going to wait. That's going to do what he got to do now with what he got. Try his best to do what, everything that he could do. And I'm going to end up passing you if I didn't already. Because you waiting for the perfect time. You watching me. Which is cool. I'm not saying you don't, you can't watch me or you can't watch other people. What I'm saying is you watch me. After you watch this video, get up and do something. Get up and do what you want to do. Get up and act on what you want to do in the future. Because every little thing you do now reflects back to you in the future. It always comes back to you in the future. So if you're sitting here, you t it's cool to feel motivated. But what you gonna do with that motivation? You gonna act on it or you just gonna be motivated for two hours and then be like, all right, tomorrow I'm gonna do this. And then when you wake up, the motivation is gone. That's why discipline is so important. I made a video on that because even when you're not motivated, you're gonna do what you gotta do still. So stop waiting for the right time for the perfect time, bro. It ain't gonna come. Just start now. Create the perfect time by starting now. This is the perfect time. This is literally the perfect time, so. Yeah, I love, I love y'all. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Don't forget to subscribe because you know why? Do you know why? What, do you know what I'm about to say? Let me show y'all what I'm about to say. 
82.7% of you are not subscribed. 17% of you are subscribed. Make sure you let, hit that like subscribe button, especially the subscribe button. I love y'all. If y'all got something out of this video, I'm gonna say it the last time, subscribe. I love y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.